to the Life After Marriage. If this is your first time with us, we want to say... Welcome! If it's your second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, we want to just say... Welcome back. back! This is a place where two millennial parents... That's right, us! <laughs> we Where we talk about practical tips on family, life, parenting, and today's fast-paced community. That's right. As you hear our kids in the background, we got two little ones as well. And that's our son, Josiah. Okay, uh, we gotta go get him. But thank you so much for joining us on this journey of the life after marriage. In today's episode, we are gonna be talking about how to survive your first year of parenting. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> this year happened so fast for us and it just felt like a blur, but we have some five tips for you that can help you get through this first year of parenting. So tip number one is gonna have to be educate yourself. Yes. I think that helped us out a lot our first year of parenting. Right. Um, I read a ton of books, watched a lot of YouTube videos, um, followed a lot of moms on Instagram. And I read one book <laughs> by Dr. Dobson, how to how to help I think it's how to help dads or something like that. It was called was like, it? How to Raise Up Boys. I think it was Raising Boys, How to Raise yeah, Boys. Yeah, Because we good. were having a boy. That's right. Josiah. Um, but uh, what I was saying, oh so yeah, back to what I was saying. <laughs> So back to what I was saying was that it's okay to take some classes. It's okay to sign up for a CPR class. That actually came in very handy the other day. I mean, a couple months ago, Josiah choked on a piece of grape and those CPR classes <laughs> came yeah, into hand. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Educate yourselves. Um, but just don't take it too far. Yeah, I mean, some things you're going to learn them as you go. Yeah. Like, sometimes we get crazy as in how to change a diaper or how to, or what to do in this situation. And, and those are good, but just understand that as you go through it, you're going to grow through it. As you go through it, you're going to grow through it. And that's what parenting is all about sometimes. Sometimes yes. you're going to go through it. And as you go through, you're going to grow through it. So just remember that too. Tip number two I want to say is uh, allow help from others. And I know a lot of times we get so caught up in this like, no, well, this is our kids and we got to take care of it ourselves. No, allow help. There's going to be people that want to help. And there's going to be people that want to be there and have the best intent on wanting to be there for you. And so this is where we felt the love from people at the hospital coming to visit us, people coming to share a meal, people having a, a, a food train for us. It was so beautiful to feel the love and feel that we were not alone. And so I'm just telling you that, that many things we noticed that even our mothers-in-law, I know my mother-in-law came- Shout out to the mothers! You know, she came all the way from Sacramento to be down here for both pregnancies and to be there. And I guys said, man, it's Maya, she almost faints on me, but we were there. And so this is beautiful moments to share together and allow for the help to come Come from other people and other family in your life and and at the same time be a part of some of these dad and mom groups that can only just help you connect you as well in the community and for you to grow together okay and tip number three i would have to say is have a good relationship with your pediatrician yes we went through three pediatricians with josiah until we found the one that fit our family right. and our needs yes, um yes. he's an amazing doctor shout out to you you know who you are if you that's see right, this video right. Thank you so much. um he he's always taking the time to talk to us to explain to us yeah. um what's happening what what any kind of question we have, um, which reminds me, you know, feel comfortable asking questions to your pediatrician. Yes, yes. They're okay with asking you questions. They actually, well, our pediatrician likes it when we ask questions um, because it just shows that you're involved in your child's yes. life and in, in your health and that you're trying to strive to better something in their lives. Um, but yeah, don't be afraid to switch up your pediatricians. Right. Like, yeah. And I just wanted to say, one of the things that really stood out to me was his concern to care. Yeah. Like how concerned he was that literally, one of the questions I always ask doctors, maybe you could apply it to you, is like, <laughs> if this was your son, if this was your daughter, right? And what I loved about it is his concern to care. Like he always gave me the best reference. Like for me, one of the things I was like, do we have to give him those shots? Like, would you do it to your child? Like all of these at, at the same time. And I love how patient he was with me and understanding he was. And at the same time, his concern to care, like yeah. that was his child as well. So I love it. Thank you so much, Doc. Appreciate you a lot. Uh, tip number four, cuatro. So tip number four is don't overspend. Now, this is crazy because I'll be honest with you, with kids, when it comes to kids, if you go to Bye Bye Baby or you go to any baby's <laughs> store, you know that there is a crazy amount of things for us. There's, there's been everything invented 
for little kids and, and things are just being more inventive and progressive and it's crazy when it comes to strollers, car seats. I'm like, so many categories, I'm like, what's going on? But what I wanna share with you is don't overspend. Like, don't overspend. Look at your budget, look at what works for you. Um, allow for some people to give you hand-me-downs. Those have been beneficial and helpful. Yes. Thank you for those people that have been saying, hey, these clothes don't fit. And at the same time, we have clothes that for our babies don't fit, so we try to hand them down to other people. So hand-me-downs are a beautiful and awesome yeah opportunity um the other thing is that i think there's mom groups or facebook groups where you can give something for free somebody picks exchange. it up well it's like kind of like a mom i've picked group. up a horse from somebody's <laughs> from, from from somebody's house because they were giving it to us so anyways all of this stuff that it is was so a toy helpful. horse it was not a toy a horse. horse it was a toy <laughs> horse yeah not a pony or anything like that but no. um and and also the other thing is um the other thing is just maybe ask to borrow things like yes. if you're going on a quick trip and and you know you're not going to use it any anymore um ask to borrow it i know some of my my friends they go hiking um and one time they wanted to take their baby out on a hike and they asked for one of those carriers right, that right. hikers use um and sure some parents were willing to let other parents borrow them yeah. um so there's a lot of money saving tips out there that that really do help keep the cost down when it comes to our little ones that's right and the final tip, tip number five, is don't forget your love for each other. <laughs> That's right. This is important because it is. when it comes to parenting, the, the thing that we focus our attention and our energy and everything on is the child. Like, is he yeah. awake? Is he sleeping? Did he get sleep? Like, especially the first couple of weeks as a first parent, we get so caught up. Like, is he okay? Did he get sick? Did he, yeah. is, is he breathing? All of these come things, and, and it's natural, and it's normal because we're first parents. Yeah, um, but also, also what comes into play is the tiredness that's right moms we just gave birth whether it was yeah. natural c-section i mean our body is recovering from a major transformation so and so we're just so tired and exhausted and if we're nursing then i mean that's a whole nother level of yes. of tiredness at all as well um but even through the midst of it all just don't forget to love that's on right. your husband yes, yes. i mean he may be going through frustrations too and and it's just, it just, it's a big mix. It's a big That's mix right. of That's everything. Right. That's right. And so I just want to just share with that. Uh, have that balance. Yeah. Have that balance. I think the word is balance in that regard. I know this, there's many things on that, but have a balance to when come together again and love on each other. And this might look in a different way than when you first got married because you were just so caught up on each other. Now you got a little one <laughs> that everything is just on him. And is he pooped? Is everything okay? Like literally. <laughs> Um, but but love, be creative. Yeah, be, be creative. Cre yeah. Use that nap time, you know, to spend some time with your hubby. That's or, right. Or, <laughs> that's right. Or, uh, you know, if you have a schedule for your baby, you know, once the baby's down, have dinner together, yeah. just you two. Yeah. Um, create spend, moments. Yeah, create, create moments, moments. In, the, in, in, in this parenting cycle or uh, season that you guys have for each other, okay? So just create, find those times, find those moments that will be beneficial. And the last one, we're just going to throw in a, a extra bonus, bonus tip for y'all is enjoy this year that's right enjoy the season yes and what i mean by this is parenting is a season in life especially toddler and children these little ones infant years infant, they're, it's an infant season enjoy it they're crawling like this little one right here they're <laughs> running they're learning to talk they're learning to cry they're learning to it's go a, crazy it's a time of many firsts and you won't get it that's back right. that's right so i know it, it can get overwhelming moms and dads but just enjoy every yeah. Yes, moment yes. as hard as it may seem that's right time goes by way too fast all right so love you guys all don't forget thank you so much for joining us on this episode don't forget to subscribe like comment comment below yeah. so tell us what you think what was your favorite tip or what's been a tip that we didn't share as you've gone through the first year of parenting and we are looking forward to stay tuned as well for next month next month march is just around the corner we're talking about <laughs> Money. money and, so, and what, money matters and money matters and how why money matters and why it's important in marriage so all the best love you guys all take care and thank you so much for joining us peace out